Hello, welcome back to Scaffold Design for Scaffolders. I am Alejandro Garcia. If you're watching this video, it's because you have seen already the second lesson and tried the exercise it at home. If you haven't, please watch now the second video and do your homework. After, come back. We said at the moment is the rotation allowed me cause on a structure around an axis or a point of reference. And we will calculate it as load times distance. Always remember that the distance must be perpendicular from the load to the axis or the point of application. And to know if it's a positive or negative moment, remember the right hand rule. We just follow the load with your fingers and then around the load and the thumb points in the direction of the moment. If it's a rotation anti-clockwise, it will be positive. If it's clockwise, negative. Another version is with your fingers. The index finger points along the load, the middle is for the distance, and then the thumb, as before, points in the direction of the moment. So, first exercise. It's a six meter cantilever with a lie load. And here, as before, the right hand rule. I'm just going to call this point here A. And just to remember, moment equals low times distance. It's always a good practice to indicate the positive direction of the moment. So we said anticlockwise positive, so anticlockwise positive. Moment at point A equals the total load from the light load is 3 kN per meter times 6 meters. Okay, that's the F in the equation, and we now have the distance. Since we have a rectangle on the light load, it will be at the center, so 3 meters. Okay, so this is equivalent. I will show you. Oh, having here in the center an 18 kilonewton point. Okay, so 3 km per meter line load times 6. The total load is 18 km and it's going to be applied at the center of the rectangle. And that's a total of 54 kilonewton per meter. Now, is it positive or is it negative? It's rotating clockwise. So, negative. Let's go to the second. We have a wall with a point load on the left and a line load on the right. As before, right hand rule. And here I'm just going to call this one B for a change. Remember, F times D. And I'm going to consider anti-clockwise positive. So, the total moment on point B will be the addition of the moment caused by the point load F and the moment caused by the line load. I'm going to calculate them separately. Moment on B caused 
my f. The load is 10 km and the distance is 5 meters to the base of the wall. So that's 50 kilonewton per meter. It's rotating clockwise, so negative. And now we, sorry, negative. And again, I'm going to show it again. MB due to the line load. We have 1 km per meter times 10 meters because it is applied to the full height. As before, this is our F in the equation. And the distance is going to be at the center of the rectangle, so it's going to be 5 meters. As before, this line load of 1 km over a 10 meter height is equivalent to having here a 10 km point load. So we have another 50 kilonewton meter. In this case, the moment due to the light load is rotating anticlockwise, so positive. And as you can see, the total moment in B equals minus 50 plus 50. And that's zero. Okay? That's one. This is a, a cube supported from ground with a point load and a load over an area. And the right hand rule. As we said on the second lesson, loads can cause moments only if they are perpendicular. So F1 is parallel to the x-axis, so it cannot cause any moment on the x-axis. It may cause moments on y or z. So, yes, as a reminder, F times D. Let's go with uh, y due to F1. The load is 2km. And now the distance to Y. The load is at ground level, so the distance is going to be zero. So we have no moment. And now let's see around set. We have 2 km. Now, what's the distance perpendicular from F1 to Z? 6 meters, the side of the cube. 6 meters. That's 12 kilonewton per meter. Positive or negative? Let's see. So, we have F1 and then rotates, and my thumb is pointing upwards along the positive side of the x-axis, therefore positive. And now, um, P over the face of the cube, it's parallel to axis Y, so it may cause moments around X and Z. Two kilonewton per meter square. What's the total load? Which 
to km per meter square times the area of the face. So we have 6 meters times 6 meters. Okay, that's the total F. And then the distance. As before for the line lot, it's going to be applied at the center of the of the face. So we will have 3 meter to X. So we have 2 times 6, 12, times 6, 72, times 3, 216 kilonewton meter. Positive or negative? Let's see. So we have the load horizontally and then rotates towards X and my thumb is pointing on the positive direction of the X axis. Therefore, positive. As before, this load over an area is equivalent to having a point load right at the center of the of the face of the of the cube. Okay? So you have here an, air, an area if this thing less is right of 72 kN. Okay? And now let's do the other one. We have the same load over the same area. So it's already we already know it's equal to 72 kN. Oh, sorry, give me a second. equals 72 km and the distance to set as before is going to be 3 meters so we have again 216 kilonewton meter positive or negative this time so if I put my my hand with the thumb back with the, with the thumb down, otherwise I cannot rotate. So it goes like this and then rotates around set, but my thumb is pointing downwards on the negative side of the set axis, the four negative. So I will just put it here. Negative. So that's it. All the exercises are solved. I hope you had correct answers. If you didn't, please try again and let me know if you have any questions or doubts and if needed, I may record additional videos to help you. Thank you for watching. Bye.